Yo, what's going on guys? I am Pryoxys and I am back with another video and in this video guys We're going to be using Hoist Gracie and as you see here We're going to get to an opponent that is division 20 and I'm only division 19 now am I division 20 caliber? That's I guess that's up for you guys to decide but uh, He's division 20. I'm division 19 and this was a good match Using Hoist Gracie man and my fight I'm gonna do a more so of a breakdown because this is not live commentary so in this fight what I should be doing right now is just looking to get the get him to the ground and just control him because it's early in the fight so it's going to be harder to get a submission and then on top of it I can't beat this guy in the striking now can I be a better mechanical player and beat him in striking of course but what is my chances it's all about chances in his, in in fighting you know what's what's Donald Cerrone chance of outstriking Connor versus Donald Cerrone getting him to the ground and you know using his black belt Think about it like that So again, I get him down to the ground. I'm inside saddle I'm Go saying I'll also be trying to give you guys some tips and insights as I go through this fight and these transitions and the progression of uh, This fight here. And I'm inside control. He goes here right here now what he tries to do is go up. He goes up and you want to hold down right trigger or R2 and flick the right stick up in order to deny that. Now I'm here. Again, I just want to have to position. Now I have to back mount position. It's a very dangerous position in real life. And uh, it's it's not bad on this game. Not the best, but it's not bad. Now he rolls over in the top mount. And again, I'm not really looking to do anything. I just want to control him. And some people may be like, oh, you're just laying on him. But... Hoist Gracie isn't really going to try to ground and pound. He's going to look for the submission. And I just don't think it's efficient for me to chase that submission right now. You see here, boom, he denies my top mount. And then he tries to go, tries to do that transition there. Now, if you want to block that transition there, you want to hold right trigger and flick the stick, the right stick up. But I, he did get it. And I'm okay with him getting it. Because, again, I'm Hoist Gracie and I'm now in my guard. So I can now I can think about trying to work some submissions. And then he postures up, he gets it, denies my transition there, and he ground and pound. I think he does strikes in my body, yes. And uh, the, the ground and pound strikes to the body don't really do much damage. But he threw them. He postures up again, and boom, I got the half guard transition before he got his posture up because I, I believe I had grapple advantage. Boom, now back in full guard, and again, I just want to control this guy. Fake posture up. Throwing some strikes. And I noticed that he's throwing the, the hand. The hand that's on the head. If you guys do not know, if you're on top, right, and you see Yoel Romero has that right hand on my head. If he throws that hand as a strike, if you try to posture up, you will automatically posture up. Because, because technically there's nothing stopping you from posturing up because he's throwing the strike. See, I did it there. As you guys noticed, then I posture up. And I, I just do a little ground and pound around to about the end. So I'm not really fearful of being... Uh, him switching up the position and him being on top and then doing some damage. And again, I'm just trying to do some ground and pound. I'm trying to win the round more to say with damage. But I'm pretty sure I'm winning with control 100%. But just just to be safe, you know, just do a little damage on the ground at the end of the round. And here we go. Again, I'm pretty sure I won that round. Pretty confident there. Again, I have to get this fight to the ground, guys. I have to. Because if this fight stays on the feet, you guys know how Yoel does, man. It takes one. <laughs> it takes one strike from Yoel, and he'll put you to bed. And here we go. Okay. He doesn't touch him up. And also, he's orthodox. He's orthodox on Yoel. Oh, look at that hook. It did damage. He's orthodox on Yoel, and he shoots a takedown, tries to turn it, and he actually gets it. And I'm fine with this. I am completely fine with this. Now, I believe I tried to, I tried to, hmm. Okay, I go full full guard. And I get it. Full guards, uh, so I'm going to call it a sweep. Boom. Transit. Roll him over. And I'm back on top, and I'm fine here. This is where I want to be, or I can be bottom full guard. I don't want to be bottom half guard. I want to be bottom stack guard, none of that. I just want to be bottom either full guard, or I want to be on top. And boom, roll over the half guard. Boom, get top mount. I've been going for the side control. Boom, he goes out there. Now, if I wanted to deny that, I would need to hold right trigger and hit the right stick. This one here. 
See how he tries to roll my, get my back? But you guys notice how he's rolling to the right side, trying to get my back. Now, it can be flipped. If you want to deny that, you want to hold down right trigger or R2 and deny to the right. Now, boom, we go back here. Now, I'll tell you why exactly I immediately transitioned out. Because if he was to do the where he got up position, he would have put me on the cage. And now I would have been this uh, submissive fighter. I would have been on the defense. So I immediately tried to transition out. Now, if he would have denied my transition there, I would have immediately stood up. That way he doesn't get the get up and he puts me on the cage and able to land knees and, you know, possibly get a takedown. But he reverses me here and again, he throws me into full guard. I am fine being here. I am a Gracie. You know, they thrive here. And I haven't attempted a submission attempt. I don't, this fight, not yet. Yeah, and just, just being patient. I know I'm winning this round because he I've done a little bit on the ground, but he hasn't done anything at all. Denies transition there. Throw a couple of strikes. Did him grab a vanico for a triangle choke. He goes here, goes okay, okay. I believe he, he gets out here. Yeah, if you look at the bottom, he's gonna get out. He has some good submission off um submission submission defense. I can give him that. But it's all good again. Just for the points. Now, this is a position I don't want to be in. And I'm going to probably go for that uh, full guard position again. If they keep giving it to you, keep taking it from him. Especially with a powerful position like that. He tries to go for a Kimura, and I deny that. Then he postures up, and he's throwing strikes back to my body. And I'm, I'm not even blocking my body because the strikes to the body don't do much damage. I did try to frame the strike. That way I could try to get a reverse or something, get back on top. But boom. Now, there's not much time left on the clock, right? And he goes for a transition. Now, the transition I'm going to assume he's going to want to go for is a posture up. So I'm already thinking to look to deny the posture up, especially when it's late in the round, right? And it's like 15, 20 seconds left. What are they going to, if they transition over into half guard, what are they going to do there? If they, they can transition to half guard and then try to posture up, but again, it's still the same thing. You want to think about the posture up. They're trying to get to the posture up because they can rain down some ground and pound. Those little baby rabbit punches you do in full guard or half guard while you're posture down, not going to do anything. So you want to you want to really be looking to deny that posture up. And I did go for a triangle choke again, but that was just for the purposes of the scorecards. And you see there on the bottom bottom right, you probably won a previous round. Your opponent might make adjustments or come out aggressive. Be aggressively. Be more. They. I try to read it real fast. Your opponent will come out more aggressively. So be prepared. Basically, I won the round. I try to read it fast because it'll go away and I won't be able to read it. And again, he switches back to orthodox on Yoel. Well. And you see him throwing the jabs, just just trying to keep the uh, trying to keep his block a little crispy because you know the jabs do a lot of damage to the block. And I get him on the cage. Try to throw some punches, then I go for a takedown, but he reverses it and puts me on the cage. Now, I frame out there. Now, I want to pause this. I want to pause this, and I want to explain to you guys what exactly I did there. And now, I don't usually do this, but a lot of guys don't really understand what or how I got out of this. He threw a knee, right? Now, I'm going to play it. Now, you see here? I'm going to go for the takedown, and I'm going to pause it again. Boom. Now, once I'm here, now, as you guys see on the screen, this is literally a tutorial during a, a fighter showcase. You see, he has me hooked on the right side of the screen. So if I wanted to move in that direction, I would have to hold my controller down, right? If I move my controller up, he would go towards that side that's open that he doesn't have me hooked on. But if I hold it down, he will. Now, if you want to immediately get out of here, and I know a lot of guys complain about being able, your opponent being able to just consistently knee you to the body and you can't do anything about it. Well, if you're holding down both triggers, that's left, right trigger, left trigger, and you flick your, I mean, you're holding your left stick, the one you're moving with down already, he will immediately get out of the clinch. And I'll show you on the PlayStation controller as well. If you hold R2, L2, and this, this right stick, you want to be holding it down in this situation. Now, it can be reversed where he has you hooked on the other side. But if you're holding down left trigger, I mean right trigger, left trigger, and you hold down in this situation, the second he throws a knee, your opponent will, I mean, you will just get straight out of the uh, the cage clinch, guys. Now, let's continue the showcase. <laughs> the game immediately gets out. But keep in mind, guys, if you if you do do that, you're, um, you will drop your hand and your opponent will be able to punch you to the face. Keep that in mind, guys. You'll notice that once you get into that position, your uh, 
higher level players will notice that and they'll start throwing uh, punches to your body. I mean punches to your head because you're trying to defend that uh that knee. And then this guy got this guy got real aggressive and I'm just trying to stay calm. Just really trying to stay calm and uh you know not try to get pressure too much and then panic and move my head and get knocked down but then I shoot the takedown and then I immediately throw two hooks. Now, I could have went for the takedown, but I'm like, uh, he's probably going to predict that. So, we're just going to just gonna try to, you know, throw some some hooks to the head and land. But he did block those. And I, I should be like, okay, that's noted. And this round was more, more oriented into striking. And again, look, I do this. Boom, I do it again. Just to condition him. You know, you, you do certain things to condition your opponent, and then you switch it up. That's all That's all what martial arts is, especially high-level striking, high-level grappling. You do something to mix them up. Boom, I grab the clinch and immediately go for the judo toss. I get him down to the ground, into side saddle. Now I'm inside control. Now, what I should be thinking about now is if I don't want to let him go to here. I shouldn't have let him go here. Should have gave him anything else besides this. And I'm fine with this again. I'm just punching his body, waiting on him to do something. I believe. Hmm. If I'm, if I'm, this fight is a little minute ago, so I don't remember too much. But he tries to go up and again, right trigger or R2, and flick the right stick up. And then I try to immediately go for a submission. Just for, I don't think I would have landed it, but for the sake of the judges. Again, it's in the third round, so I'm, I'm going to assume Yoel was going to gas a little bit, and then he denies that transition there. Then he tries to uh, put me in a side control. Now, this was weird, though. The ref stood us up. I was about to transition out, but the ref stood us up. But it's all good. A minute left in the round. And again, I believe I'm winning this round as well. Boom. Boom. Uppercut landed clean. Now, his kick should have landed, but there's a bit of tracking issues in this game. And again, remember I said I conditioned him those other times and I threw the strikes? This time, I shot, rolled him over in the full guard. Now, the round is about to end, so I'm not really tripping too much as far as... Uh, Trying to do too much. I'm just get him to the ground. I landed for a takedown, so I'll take it. And then here goes the end of the round. Just just little rabbit punches to the body. Nothing major. Again, I feel like I'm winning this fight. I'm controlling this fight. I'm in the I'm in the lead, but I do have to be careful because again, you guys seen on my my showcase. Who did I use? I was using uh, TJ Dillashaw, and I went against that guy, and I was like, okay, I'm good. I was hyped going into the next round, and then boom, he landed a knee on me and grounded pounded me. <laughs> but here we go, man. Boom, landed clean uppercut through an overhand. Oh. Boom, shoot a takedown, and I put him on a cage. I'm, yes, very smart. Oh, he reversed it. No, he tried to shoot. He tried to uh, do a judo toss on me there, and I revert, and I denied it. Again, this guy's. I believe this guy's down on the scorecards right now, but I don't want to go immediately into. Oh, nice! I didn't want to immediately go into fighting defensive and shelling up. I still want to be a bit of aggressive, but still defensive because this guy's going to make mistakes. Now, the last two times I was in this position, I went to the full guard, and uh, I mean, I went to the transition where I go straight to full guard and automatically. You know, I mean, well, I would straight go straight to full guard. I'm choking hard. I would go straight to full guard, but this time I went to half guard, which is still a powerful position. Now, I believe I go back in the full. Yep. And he still gave it to me. I don't know why this guy didn't deny. He's division 20, so I expected him to do more. Now, I frame a punch, then I slip a punch, and then uh, I get up. I, I, think, I don't think I tried to do the get up. I believe I tried to do a different transition. He shoots a takedown. Now, I feel like he's getting a little panicky for what he's doing. And again, I'm just staying calm. Staying calm, wait on him to make some, a mistake. Nice hook. Do another hook. So I, I ducked under that. See? He threw, he threw another hook immediately after the first one. So I ducked under that. Then I tried to... See, he's very aggressive. Look at this. Now, what I should be doing here, guys, honestly, is clinching or shooting a takedown. And me watching his back is kind of cringy. Like, bro, why are you not shooting a takedown or something? They go, I clinch. Try to take him down. Nice, he clinches me back those two knees. Again, he probably won this round. He's, he's well, there's no probably. He's winning this round 100%. Boom, throw an uppercut. Tried to clinch him there, and he threw two hooks on me. 
And I gotta be careful. Look at my head health, man. I really gotta be careful. Ooh. Boom, jab, jab, hook. Y'all didn't know Gracie was a boxer. I shoot a takedown. Then boom, pull guard, and he denies it. That was nice. Now, I deny his transition there, and I immediately go for the half guard. Boom. Now I'm on top. But again, in order for me to win this round, I basically have to do a lot. And I don't have a lot of time left to do anything. So, uh, it would be smart for me to try to pull off a submission. But again, it's 35 seconds now. So, I, I'm not going to be able to get it. But, again, he go for that transition. And if you want to block that, you want to hold R2 or RT and flick the right stick up. Now, I go for a submission here. Just for the sake of the judges, I'm pretty sure I still lost this round. But, I still went for it. Now, we got one round left, and I'm pretty sure I'm up three to one. Now, with the UFC judges, who knows? But your opponent is tying you up on the ground. Try to keep it on the feet. Cap. <laughs> Cap. Come on, man. All right, here we go. Boom, shoot the takedown. Boom, and he actually, I, I took too long with my transition, so he immediately went into a submission. Now, that's what I was talking about. If you guys watch my video about the patch 4.0 is uh, the camera, and I took advantage of it there. I said, I, I ain't gonna cap, I take advantage of it. You seen the camera was stuck there, and the camera shouldn't have been right there, so he didn't even know how to deny that transition because he couldn't see which way I was going. But hey. EA Sports is in the game. Boom, he tries to do that there. Now, let me show you guys this right here quick. Because this is very important. What I did there, right? So, he denied my back mount. Now, I want you to pay close attention to this right here. Because you're going to notice when he tries to do the reversal, where he put me into the this position, or backside, it'll be a, a Q pop-up over here. And it'll say side control. Now, you want to flick that immediately. Now, if you don't flick it, he's going to get the position. If you flick it in time, it's going to fool you in side control. Now, watch this. Watch it. It's going to be over here. He's going to try to look at this. Boom. And you see it pop up, and I immediately hit it. Now, any high-level player is never going to give you that transition unless you have zero stamina, and they instantly get it. Now, I deny that, and I go for an Anaconda. He denies it. That was a very slow transition. I expected him not to have much stamina. But, again, all you guys out there that get, that get reversed in that position a lot, man. Do exactly what I just showed you. That that Q will pop up with it, with uh, where you can get the side control. Now it will reverse sometimes. That was that uh, time it was to the left. Maybe sometimes it'll be to the right. So just pay close attention to it. And right now my gas tank isn't looking that looking that well. It's not bad, but it's not as great as uh, it should be. Again, this guy's probably trying to get the finish. And I'm kind of disappointed in myself that I didn't try too many submissions. But this guy, again, high-level players aren't going to give you a lot of opportunities to try to submit them. You know, they got to make a real big mistake in order to get submitted. And now these guys going crazy. Boom. Cross. I do a cross followed by a lead hook. Rock them. And I clinch him. He goes for a takedown. Tries to dump me. Actually dumps me. And look, I'm looking. Okay. He doesn't have much stamina, so I'm immediately go to the full guard. He denies it this time, which was very smart. Go for a Kamora submission. But you're your well Romero trying to submit a Gracie. It ain't happening, Chief. It ain't happening. He actually even gets the chain. But it's it's for you to submit a Gracie, you gotta have some A1 submission offense. It's like it's like submitting Jacare Souza. Like you're gonna have to have some A1 submission offense, and Yoel just ain't got it. Boom, I'm in side control now, and I, I believe he's probably going to try to go there. Ah, he does get to. See, this is what I was talking about here, guys. You see this? Boom, that's what I, exactly what I was talking about. If I don't immediately transition out and he goes up, it will put me in that position there. Now, I believe you can deny that, and don't quote me, but I believe it's right trigger and down. But I'm not 100% sure because they added that new to the game, and I really ain't been in practice mode as much as I needed to because I haven't honestly been playing this game as much as I uh, as much as I wanted to. One is I'm work. I'm literally working every Saturday, uh, and then on top of that, I work second shift. So, for anybody that does not know my schedule, man, I work from 
two in the, two thirty in the afternoon until ten thirty at night, and that's Central Time. So you want to look that up. If you want to look it up, compare your time zone to Central C E N T R A L time. All right. And again, here we go with the decision. Now I'm pretty confident that I won this, but again, I'd be scared, bro, because if y'all know, if you watch me, you know, man, I'm always on a bad end of decisions. Now I cannot hear the game, so I don't know what the scorecard was, but I do believe I checked them after the fight. And here we go. Boom. I did win. I did win that fight. I was confident that I won, but I was like, eh, did I win really? Because, you know, and I did reach Division 20 with that fight. Nice. Now, I want to check the fight statistics. There we go. I had 10 minutes of control time to this. Three minutes. Round one, I won. Round two, I won. Round three. I won round four. He won round four. And then round five, I won. So it should be 49, 46, right? 48, 46, 49, 46, 48, 46. Okay, well, some round, some judges gave him two. Now, with that being said, that is the end of the video. But if you made it this far, I want you to just put into, because I'm doing this every video, put into the comment section, BJJ, just BJJ. And if you are a channel member, Drop an emo, man. Drop an emo. Show them boys that you guys are supporting the channel. If you are a channel member, all you channel members, man. Drop yeah, drop the Pryoxys emotes, man. And with that being said, guys, be sure to like the video, man. Let's try to get this video, get this video to uh, let's say 400 likes. 400 likes for this video, guys. Also, if you want me to use a fighter request, I will use a fighter that is most commented. All right. The most comments of a fighter I will use. So comment the fighter you guys would like to see me use. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Turn on post notifications. And I'm out, man. Peace. Appreciate y'all.